Hey guys out here on the line. Uh, man, it has been super cold. And uh, it's just right at freezing, or just a little above freezing anyway. Uh, made a pocket set here a couple days ago. The water was down a little bit. Looks like we got a raccoon to drown. Uh, I think it's just because the water came up so much and then uh, just the temperature of the water here. I'm walking out here kind of retarded because I've got a hole in my boot. I was really hoping to get the, get a muskrat right here, but I'm happy to get whatever I can. Oh, well. A bad coon. Front foot catching this Duke one and a half. Of course, my pocket set was right there. Uh, he probably just succumbed to the weather. Let me get him out of here, and uh, we'll get a little closer look at him. Hey, guys. Back out on the line here. Man, it has been super cold, and the weather's been really, really bad. And I've just been running a few water sets. Uh, uh, anyways, uh, got my daughter to make this set yesterday. She made this set all on her own. I just set the uh, 220 Connor bear. It looks like she picked up a little otter. It's too bad she's not with me. She'd be tickled to death right now. But, uh, so I guess I owe her a trip to the shell station. Anyway, what we had is a uh, beaver dam here, beaver dam right here. And uh, this got kind of blown out during this really big rainstorm we had a few days ago and uh so we just put a 220 across this channel right here and she blocked it off and everything and uh got an otter awesome man all right well we're gonna take this thing out and uh we'll get a better look at him we'll be back hey guys back out here in the line this is about uh two days after we caught that otter right here where this little beaver dam is and uh looks like we might have a muskrat maybe a small beaver in there and take a look at it. I gotta be careful. I got a hole in my boot. Oh, now looks like we got a. Might be a new trio. This is that 220 kind of bear that my little girl set. Then I re she caught an otter. Then I reset it. Yeah, looks like we got a new trio here. Never mind, it's a beaver. Small one. Okay, cool. Uh. Let me get him out of here and we'll take another look at it. We'll be back. Alright guys, I don't know how good you can see this, so I'll get a closer look at it. Uh, had a 330 set in the channel for this uh, beaver dam right here. It got blown out and where the water was just you know flowing over it. Had a 330 set there and it's like we had another beaver. Uh, just a little further upstream where we just took a beaver and a 330, I mean, excuse me, a 220 kind of bear. And uh, you know, I was just saying that. I was wondering how that beaver swam past two traps to get in that one, to get the one that he was in. And uh, here's why: because uh, something was in this one. Cool, Some nice size little beaver right here. Wow. Yeah, cool. Uh, we'll get him out, get him on the bank, and get a better look at him. We'll be back. Hey guys, just another look at that beaver we just took out of the trap. This thing is big. This may not be the biggest bodied beaver I ever caught. But this thing is super heavy. This is a female, and uh, man, she has a huge tail. Um, anyways, uh, what we'll do is, when I leave here, I got a few more traps to check, and uh, there's the remake right over there. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, when we leave here, we'll stop at the gas station where there's a little more light, and I'll get some uh, more footage of the animals here. Yep. I want to give a uh, shout out to one of my coworkers, Taylor Payne. Uh, I posted a picture of a beaver skin that we stretched on uh, Facebook, and I said, hey, uh, who can tell me what kind of skin this is? He was the only person to get it right. So, uh, uh, he's also a uh, combat medic in the National Guard. So, uh, thank you, Taylor, for your service. All right, guys, we'll be back. Hey, guys, don't know how well you can see this. Uh, I'm a little ways now. We just took that beaver out of that 330 on the dam, and I uh, had a little blind set right here. I was hoping to pick up a mink, and... Uh, Got a little small raccoon. Uh, it's going to be kind of tough because I want to get down in the water and I've got a hole in my boot. And uh, anyways, but uh, cool man. Happy to get that coon right there. Uh, basically, I uh, mentioned earlier that uh, this little creek right here had been frozen over, and uh, I kept seeing where be uh, mink and otters were coming out of these little holes in the banks and stuff, and uh, leaving little tracks running down the ice and stuff like that. And so I said it's kind of maybe. Uh, blind set right here and uh, got a raccoon yeah cool man we're going to take it out and uh, we'll be back hey guys we're back here's those beavers we just got uh 
This one right here is a little bit smaller than what I normally get around here. And this one is just, you know, huge, super heavy. Uh, see the size of the tail right there? It's got the shoes on the tail and everything. So there's my 13 boot up against it there. Got these two raccoons right here, so actually it's turned out to be a pretty good night, man. Checking traps, so. Uh, yeah, got a lot of skin ahead of me. Pretty tired, just did a 12 hour day. But, uh, yeah, cool, man. Alright, I'm happy. Uh, thanks, now we'll be back. Hey guys, out here on this, uh, duck hunting property that I've been trapping on. And, uh, we got a beaver right here. This is a 330 that the landowner keeps out here. He traps beavers from time to time. And uh, this is a nice size beaver right here, but uh, he just leaves us here all year round, man. And uh, you know, when he wants to set it, he set it. So, uh, the first day I was out here, this trap was sprung, and I thought I saw some otter tracks. We'd seen some otter tracks here, and we had a huge rain. Uh, water's up a couple of feet, but uh, anyways, of course, this is one of the little ditches that drains the property. And of course, we got some more traps over here. Hopefully, we'll have something. But uh, anyways, yeah, nice little beaver right there, and. Uh, you guys got these uh, rebar stakes driven in the ground here, and uh, you just slide the, uh, pinch them together, and then uh, slip the counter bear down over the top of them. Uh, looks like it might be a coyote track right there, but then didn't eat this beaver. All right, well, we'll get him out of here, and we'll be back. Hey guys, we're back. Like I said, I don't know how good you can see this because my camera's messed up here, but uh, we got a raccoon right here. Eh, fair sized. Yep. Uh, he said he tore at the bank and everything. When I, reset, when I set this trap, the water was a little lower and there was a little bit of a log laying right here. It was like he's torn it up. And anyways, uh, I had a styrofoam cup and I put some bait in it, stuck it up against that log, kind of blocked it in some sticks and everything, and uh, had the trap in front of it, staked out in the deep water here. And uh, even though not deep enough around the raccoon, but uh, so yeah, got a coon. Uh, last year, in this little spot right here, uh, I got like 10 of them. Uh, in not quite two weeks. Yeah, uh, it was just a real hot spot, and that was late in the season. That's kind of what's hoping is going to happen right here. Uh, but right as soon as I saw the traps, though, they you know had a real heavy rain and everything. There were a lot of tracks on either side of the bank. But uh, anyway, it's cool, man. We're we'll getting this thing taken care of, and uh, got a few more traps to check today. We'll be back. Hey guys, now how good? Sure, how good you can see this? Uh, I got an otter right here. I had a 220 set in this little channel right here, and it was uh, blocked off and everything, and got this otter. Uh, this otter was alive not five minutes ago. Uh, I came down here from this other bank over here to check the set, and I saw everything was gone. We had a good little rainstorm last night, so I thought maybe the trap got washed out. And uh, I heard something splashing downstream right over here past this thick stuff, and I thought it was turtles going off in the water. And, uh, and I was hearing this hissing and stuff like this, so I, you know, I walked on across and looked, and of course this otter was rolling around that trap. Uh, you know, I wish that I had not seen that, because uh, I saw the part of trapping. Um, but you know, th of course, I'm glad that I came along when this was happening because, you know, I might not have ever found this otter. You know, this would have been just a wasted animal. But uh, this is a little female, kind of on the small side. And anyway, like I said, got on the 220. Looks like she broke my wire off my uh, log I had tied to. I had it wired to that log right there. And uh, anyways, man, yeah, okay. Well, uh, we'll get this thing reset and uh, get on back down the line. I'm happy to get this otter right here. Like I said, there's only a few more days of the season left. Um, I probably never thought that I'd hear myself say this. I, I'll be glad when this season's over with. This has just been a, a, a tough season. As far as the weather, my work schedule, and this, that, and the other. But, uh, yeah, cool. Alright, well, uh, we'll be back. Hey guys, don't know how good you can see this, but, uh, got a raccoon in the trap right here. Uh, these little white things right here. This is styrofoam from a styrofoam cup that I found, and I made my styrofoam cup set. Basically, it's kind of like a PVC pipe set. I'm in a location where I can't make a pocket or anything like that, so, uh, yeah. And the location where I'm at is this little road right here and uh, raccoon tracks all down the road bed on this side so I have two sets one down a little bit and of course this one right here and uh, of course we got Mr. Raccoon and uh, I said my viewfinder on my camera's messed up so I'm not really sure what you're seeing so uh, 
if this is good footage you'll see it if not you won't see it but uh yeah cool got a raccoon right here uh got a few more sets out uh we just took out an otter and uh I, and I was carrying the otter to my truck from where I caught it, and a guy stopped and talked to me, a fellow trapper. He said he's new to trapping, and uh, he asked if I had any advice. And, of course, the number one thing I told him was be as close to sign as you can. And, like I said, this I, this is where I set this trap. Uh, there's the raccoon. All right, guys, we'll get this thing dispatched, and uh, we'll be back. Hey, guys, I'm not sure good you can see this uh, out here on the line this evening. Got a little small beaver dam right here holding this little backwater. Got this little creek right here. I just saw a beaver swimming in here. And uh, we got 330 that was set right here. Uh, knocked down yesterday. So I reset it. Came back now and it's uh, got something in it here. Let's see what we got. I think this might be an otter. Let's see here. It is an otter. Cool. Uh, we caught one yesterday. Uh, this is a little bit smaller than that one. Wow. Alright. Uh, we've got two more days of the season. Uh, and, uh, like I said, I've just, with my work schedule and everything, the way the weather's been, I've just been running a little small kind of a water line. I got back in here in the, some property owned by a duck club. And, uh, you know, I was really supposed to come out here with. The intention is getting out some uh, beavers and raccoons, and uh, got a couple beavers so far, and uh, only one raccoon, a couple of possums. Uh, uh, anyways, like I said, I just, it's, I've got to walk back in here. I don't have a four. I've had a four. I can ride it back here, no problem. But uh, I'm real limited what I can carry back in here, and just kind of right now at the end of the season, and my heart's just not really in it. I like I said, I said this yesterday. Uh, I guess I'll say it again today. Uh, it's probably the first time I've ever wished that the season would hurry up and end. You know, I don't want to be a quitter. I don't want to just quit right now. There's just a few days left. But uh, I kind of be happy when the season's over with. Of course, when the season is over with, I'll probably be sitting around moaning and groaning because I wish it was still trapping season. But yeah, man, cool. Got the solder right here. Uh, I'm happy. And uh, we'll get this set remade, man, and uh, we'll be back. Hey guys, not how good, not sure how good you can see this right here. Uh, last day of the trapping season. Got this beaver dam right here. Uh, we had a big storm a while back, blew it out. The beavers have not started working on it. Uh, a week or so ago, caught a big 61 pound beaver right here. I got a little footage of that. But uh, today, we got a little kind of a smaller beaver right here. I'm thinking this might be our last catch of the season. I've got about uh, four more traps to pull here, and uh, I don't feel like I'm probably going to have anything in them, but you know, I'll keep my toes crossed. Let's see what we got. Yeah. That small one there. Cool. Alright, well, uh, Get this thing out of the trap. Get the rest of them pulled. Uh, yeah, so if I don't catch anything, you know, I won't see you in my other traps. If I don't catch anything, I won't see any more in these videos. Uh, uh, but anyways, not my best season ever. Not my worst. Uh, just, you know, like I've said, you know, plenty of times, uh, the weather has just been horrible this season. And, uh, you know, my work schedule has just been working a lot of hours. Haven't been able to maintain a very good line. Um, you know, I, lately I've only had, you know, six to a dozen traps out, and they've mostly been water sets and everything like that. You know, and, uh, hopefully next season will be a little better, and, uh, anyways, uh, appreciate everybody that's watching my videos this year. Well, I'm gonna shut up and get them down the line, get these other traps pulled, get them home, and, uh, get them kind of cleaned off and put up till it's time to, uh, get them ready for next year. Alright, thanks guys.